Greetings all, today I'm going to dive into the Age of Sigmar a little, as I've wanted to start an army for a little while now, and since I have some Daughters of Cain models left from my Shadow and Pain box, and I just can't put together an army without making some sort of adjustment, why not make a Wood Elf themed Daughters of Cain army? After the quickest research ever, I decided that they could be a Temple of Cain based in the realm of Gairan? I think I got that right and therefore they have adopted more of a wood elf look. Probably not the best backstory ever, but oh well, it's gonna look awesome anyway. And so here we have the beginning of my Age of Sigmar army. Today I'm going to be making a Malusai Iron Scale hailing from the realm of Gairan. To begin with, I took one of the Malusai bodies and built it, minus the arms and a head, as a blood sister. The first adjustment I will be doing is giving it some belt accessories and dangly bits to mark it out as a champion as opposed to a regular soldier. I have here a selection from both the Malusai kit and the Sisters of the Thorn kit. I figured two strings of hearts, a set of pouches and a wood elfie dangly bit would do nicely for this and I glued them into place around the waist. Normally I would do this step nearer the end of a build, but I have learned that sticking pouches on after arms can be a fiddly process, so let's get it done first. With those attached and bulking out her waist nicely, I can move on to the weapon. I'm going to use the arms from the unit leader of the Blood Sisters. However, I am going to be replacing the spear weapon as the iron scale is armed with a fancy snake-headed staff thingy. Without having the snake-headed staff, I'm going to turn to my Sisters of the Thorn, from now on I think I'll just call them Thorn, kit for one of their staff wielding arms. Though I am leaving the head off until the arm is finished. The first thing I would need to do here is cut the Malusai arm off just below the elbow, around where her bracer finishes. Once removed and the area is cleaned up and shaped a little, this can then be glued to the Thorn arm part in an appropriate position, as this part comes cut just about the bracer area. Before attaching the arm to the body, I'm going to take the staff head from the thorn kit and glue it into position on top of the staff. And boy is she going to be fancy when she's finished. Whilst all that sets, I'm moving on to the head. To maintain the helmeted look that the Iron Scale and the Malusai Blood Sisters have, I decided to use one of the Wild Rider heads from the thorn kit. The unit leader had the largest and most ostentatious antlers on it, so that felt like the perfect choice for this Iron Scale and it could be glued together, ready for attaching to the body. But before we can do that, the neck join was not a great fit. It did not lead a lot off, so a quick snip with my clippers on the top, and it was ready for some glue and being put into place. At this point, I should note that I had forgotten to remove the mold lines, and the antlers have really obvious sprue tabs on them. Thankfully, I remember before painting, all this could have been regrettable. Once the head is on and in position, it was time for the arms. The right arm holding the staff went on first, followed by the left arm. I was going to swap out the crystallized heart for either a dagger or an open palm from the thorn kit, but the Iron Scale's gory offering ability states her holding a crystallized heart aloft. Perfect, the heart stays. All that's left now is to put her shoulder pad in place, and I will call this one done. Not a massive amount of changes for a kit bash, I know, but even just changing the head and weapon have really made this model stand out from the original kit. And with similar changes across the army, I feel I can scratch that wood elf itch and have a cool looking armor to play with when I eventually get around to having a game. And here she is all painted up. I decided to go with purple for the skin rather than a normal skin tone purely because I have a full pot of Magos Purple Contrast and I wanted to be lazy with the base coats so I could spend more time practicing the details. So a big thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Maybe leave a comment if you have the time and I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably be back to 40k on my next one. I did want to do some Chaos Marines but unfortunately the parts are stuck in transport. So it may be more Imperium. Anyways, stay safe and have a good one all.